Welcome to whiskey.com. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. Today I have a spirit, not yet a whiskey, an Italian nearly whiskey. It's called Puni Alba. Uh, it's a new built distillery in 2010 and uh, the whiskey was f first produced in early 2012. And this is one of the very first bottling uh, from casks, uh, Marsala and Pinot Noir casks. Um, Marsala is an, uh, a wine, a strong, a fortified wine from Sicilia. Uh, and this maturation period was 18 months. It's uncolored, really original color, non-chill filtered, uh, and uh, produced as a triple malt. Mm -hmm. Triple malt does not mean three uh, stills, uh, but three different malts. Yeah, no, uh, different uh, barleys, but malts. We have uh, barley, uh, rye, and wheat. And all those uh, cereals are uh, converted into malt. So malt is not particular for uh, for barley, but also for rye and for wheat. And these uh, malts are mixed together. Three malts are mixed together. Uh, around 80% uh, barley and 10% rye and 10% wheat. I don't know. The, uh, the receipt is secret, of course. Um, the distillery is located in South Tyrol, which is in the very north of Italy. And uh, the particular region is Alto Adige, Finchgau. And the distillery looks modern, very modern. It's a cube. It's a cube from concrete stone, looks like terracotta. And uh, in this building are uh, Scottish pot stills, small Scottish pot stills uh, from Forsyth's uh, copper works in Ruthers. And uh, they produce whiskey uh, in the traditional way in pot stills uh, with a mesh ton and the, the corn mill is from the same brand, from the same uh, company, a very old one from uh, 19th century, uh, like Artbeck uses. So they use the old Scottish way to produce whiskey. The only difference is they heat the stills not with steam, but with superheated water. So they have a, a better uh, regulation uh, capability for the temperature in the stills. The washbacks are produced from large so uh, Finchgau and uh, South Tyrol is very famous for their large uh, stems and uh, they produce it in, in Bozen, Bolzano. Um, the maturation, uh, as I said, was uh, done in Marsala cask for 18 months and there are two different uh, types of storage or warehouses there. One <laughs> are old bunkers from World War II uh, where the temperature is quite low and the humidity is high and the others are uh, regular warehouses uh, but the humidity is very low in, in the summer in the Finchgau close to zero percent uh, so they lose a lot of alcohol and uh, so they have a mixture between these uh, hot warehouses and the uh, bunker warehouses. Um, Alba uh, means in Gaelic Scotland and in Italian it means rising sun. And there's also the Quercus Alba, uh, the Italian uh, Latin name uh, for the American white oak. It's also Alba. There's a Glenrothes Alba uh, out there. Um, yeah, and uh, so the name Alba is is really good for for the first Italian 
whisky. Alba is the Italian word for sunrise and the Gaelic name for Scotland. It's our first cask matured spirit and marks the dawn of a new single malt tradition in Italy, its name also reflecting our high esteem for the Scottish whisky tradition and culture. Not yet allowed to be called whisky, it's 18 month maturation. This young malt is distilled of three types of malted cereals in handmade copper pot stills from Scotland and refined in Marsala casks from Sicily. Where we are, our distillery is located in the Glurus, Glurns, Glurns, no good print, in South Tyrol. Here in the middle of the Italian Alps, uh, the south end of the Italian Alps, we use fresh mountain water and regionally grown rye to create our unique spirits. Here you can see on the map where the Finchgau is, the very north of Italy. Uh, the idea of producing whiskey in Italy is a very good one because Italy uh, imports a lot of whiskey from Scotland and a lot of Italians have uh, went to America, to Germany, uh, all their pizzas um, and uh, they took uh, the habit to drink whiskey with them into all pizza huts. No, hut is American. Um, uh, uh, and uh, you always find whiskies on the shelves of these pizzerias. And uh, whenever there will be an Italian whiskey with the Italian flag on top or on the box, it will be on every shelf in every pizzeria all around the world. So this one is easy selling and will be widely available all around the globe. Very good idea. And then this very modern distillery with an ancient heart in it. It's fantastic. Whenever you come to northern Italy, visit this distillery. There is the ancient town of Glurns. I think it has 1300 years anniversary in 2014 when I visited the distillery. Uh, very old, very old small town. And the Finchgau is beautiful in spring when all the apple trees are blooming. Wonderful. It's a young one. 18 month old means there's a fresh alcoholic note on top. It's uncolored. It's real color. 18 months from a cellar and Pinot Noir casks. And the cask already give a vanilla note and there are spices and resins and these spices might come from the European oak wood from uh, the Marsala casks. It might also come from the from the rye. You know rye whiskies from America? They are very spicy and intense. The rye uh, malt gives herbal spicy notes into the whiskey. Fresh but intense herbal spicy aroma the whiskey is young there's a slight dryness and the marsala cask bring a, a dark fruitiness and the oak is there but it's not it's not bitter it's already there and these uh, european wine casks they are toasted means heated to activate uh, the oak wood, but they are not charred, not burned with high flame, uh, not charred. And this charcoal typically filters the sharp aromas out of the spirit. No, the European uh, 
casks are only uh, toasted and not charred and so this slight uh, alcoholic note is still uh, sensible in this spirit close to whiskey. When it is coming up, fresh masala casks. Yeah, uh, it won't take too long until you find this bottle on your shelves all around the world. Go into a pizzeria and have a look for the whiskies in there. Uh, Puni will be there very soon. And uh, I'm happy that the Italians start to produce their own whiskey. Thank you for watching whiskey.com. Please stay tuned and if you like this whiskey, give me your thumbs up.